Hey, uh, let's talk about the float property. The float property positions an element to the left or right side of a container. It's popular for wrapping elements around images. In this brief example, I have three images and two paragraph elements. I think this would look a lot better if this text wrapped around these images. So what I could do is that whatever element I would like to select, I can apply a float property. Any elements that are floating are taken out of the normal flow of a document, and all elements that follow after will wrap around them. By setting my images to float left, all images will gravitate towards the top left corner of my document. It's as if we're reading them from left to right. Or we could float right. Then we're reading this right to left. Let me give you a different example. Images are inline elements. Here's a different example with block level elements. This time we will create three boxes using a pair of div tags. Let's set the class equal to box. We will have box one, box two, and box three. And let's create some sample text. Create a pair of paragraph tags. I'll type lorem and then tab to generate some sample text. Copy this paragraph and paste it two additional times, let's say. Okay, let's style our boxes. So to select a class, type dot, then the name of the class. So let's create some boxes. The width will be 100 pixels. The height will be 100. Let's give this a border of one pixel solid. Change the font size to something readable like 40 pixels. I'll text align center. And let's change the color. Background, select a color. I'll pick tomato because I like tomatoes. Divs are block level elements. After each element, the entire width of our viewport is reserved to display this element. So if I give our class box the float property, it will be taken out of the normal flow of a document and all elements that follow after will also follow that pattern. So they will float and wrap around any elements from left to right, top to bottom, if we're using left or if this was float right, it will be read right to left, top to bottom. If you would like a stopping point where your elements are no longer floating, you can use the clear property. So let's say with our paragraph tags, I would like this text to stop floating. I will use the clear property and set this to left if we're floating left or to the right if we're floating right. Or you can set this to both. So yeah, basically speaking, with the float property, it positions an element to the left or right side of a container, and it's popular for wrapping elements around images. If you need to stop floating, you can use the clear property, which is what we did here. So yeah, that is the float property. If you found this video helpful, you can help me out by smashing that like button, leave random comments down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.